I'm Harla and this is Popcorn. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. So today is super exciting. It's the start of Pony Club Camp. I've done my three rallies. So now I am able to do Pony Club Camp with Popcorn and it is going to be so fun. I have got two days of jam packed riding. I've got show jumping, cross country, mounted games, literally everything you can dream of and it is going to be so fun. Popcorn loves his mounted games. He does a little bunny hop across country and this should go well. So I've got four hours riding today, then I've got four hours worth of riding tomorrow. So it's gonna be very busy. And I think tomorrow there's also the award, like ceremony thing. So this is my first ever Pony Club camp. Let's go. So Pony Club camp has kicked off it's the start of the day and we are going straight into it with mounted games one of mine and popcorn's ultimate favorite disciplines to do popcorn just absolutely loves doing it and just like speeding around those cones So this bit was a lot harder than it looks. Popcorn is quite tall for me, so there was a long way to stretch down. And at one point, the ring was nearly falling off the table. And Popcorn looked at my hand like, Carlo, what are you doing? Is there a treat? Can I eat it? Getting popcorn to stand at the right place in the right time next to the table is frantically impossible. Like he's just looking what you're doing like, oh hand, oh is there a treat? Like oh, and then when you turn him in the right direction and you've got the ring, he's like, oh, can we go now? And then it's the whole process again, trying to stand next to something and in the end I just have to hope for the best and chuck the ring on the cone. I think I'm cheating by doing that. Um, because you're supposed to get back on your horse and then put it on the cone. So I've just cheated. And now is the absolute mission of trying to get back on popcorn as he is massive for me. Oh. <laughs> I probably could have actually made it on. I've actually fell off my pony and I technically wasn't even on my pony. So this is going great. Popcorn, please stop fidgeting. I know it's all exciting and you just want to go, but I also want to get the ring and then we can go. Good technique, Carlo. Let him eat the grass and he'll stand still. This was my favourite activity that we did in Mounted Games, putting the cups on the cones. Oops, I just dropped it, but yeah, it's all really, really good fun. And then I have to get off and have the mission of getting back on popcorn again. I just cheated again. It was actually quite um, high up for me to put the um, cup on the cone, but... I think we're making good progress here because this is actually looking quite good. I don't think I dropped any cups that round.
popcorn. Oh, straight to the head. Yeah. So that was amazing. Popcorn was unbelievable. He definitely enjoyed getting back into the mounted games. And of course I had to fall off again, but that was only because like, I tried mounting from the ground and I fell back, but you know, Popcorn was amazing. He was just standing there like Harlot. You're embarrassing me, get up off the floor. So we're just having a little drink break. So I'm gonna um, get Popcorn his water. Popcorn's just gonna have a little snack then um, and a little drink, so am I. Then we're gonna go to our next activity. Oh my God. That, that cop literally just like... What? It like leaped. I don't know if so, like it leaped on someone. So our next activity is cross country. So, right, I'm gonna... <laughs> Do you need tying up? Yeah. Oh, poor God. <laughs> Head up, please. Head up, please. <laughs> Popcorn. Popcorn. <laughs> Are you thirsty? Are you thirsty? Do you want some water? Are you thirsty? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, popcorn, you got slobber everywhere. Yeah. Thank you. Good boy. All right, let's sort you out again, popcorn. You honestly don't really need tying up. You're not going there anywhere. And we're in an enclosed field, so. Oh, whoa, popcorn. Just see if I can get any hair. Off from underneath there. Oh wow, a lot is actually coming off. Popcorn. <laughs> All right. If you gave up because your hair is turned round, that, is that what you've done? You need to keep on eating it for it not to not turn round. There we go.
the cos country is all done and he absolutely loved it. Oh mum, do we have that towel? Oh yeah. It's in there. Is it? Can you get it? Just, just, just leave me a sec. Just run in and get it. It's in the bucket. Is it going nowhere? Bridal, we need a bridal. Come on, hand scratches. This is a really bad look. This is a really bad look. Ah, okay. <laughs> right, put your head up. Come on. Okay, popcorn. Okay. Right, put your head up. Put your head up. Okay. I think he feels like he's in his, you know, wild habitat with all this grass. <laughs> Mom, should I just put my saddle down there? Cause we're gonna need it. Okay. <laughs> there we go. So now we've got an hour off. Oh, I've got my. All right, I'm gonna try and my... have this first. In the cross country, we we're working on my lines, like approaching the jump, because as you know, I don't really, you know, focus on my lines because popcorn is just absolutely amazing. Anything I put him to, he just goes straight over it without any hesitation. So he's amazing for that. Um, but we we're working on that. Then in the mounted games, he was just amazing as well. We kind of took one of the like bending poles with us at one point, but it's fine. <laughs> we kind of took it out the ground, didn't we, Popcorn? Yeah, that was fine anyways. Um, but I loved like going up and down with like the baton and doing a couple races in that. So that was really fun. And oh my God, look at Popcorn's white socks. They're not white. <laughs> oh no. Right, you're having a bath when you get home. It's starting to rain. Yeah. No, no, the, not the trees, not the trees, not the trees. Right, down, down popcorn. Right, no. No, we <laughs> can't eat my finger. Right, it's starting to rain, so I'm going to go under the shelter with you because I don't want to get poured on. And I don't think our biscuits want to get rained on either. So it's starting to rain. It's literally just spitting and... Um... <laughs> it's actually starting to rain. Quite a lot. What are we going to do with popcorn? Should I check his rag on? I've had to take my coat off because it stopped, it stopped raining and look, it's sunny. Literally not even a minute ago, it was pouring it down with rain. England, what the hell? But yeah, we're definitely, it's forecasting. Well, I'm now a forecaster and I'm saying it is going to rain because there are black clouds ahead, so. It started pouring it down with rain, so I had to quickly rush and put popcorn in my friend's lorry because, well, we can't really get the ramp down on the trailer. Um, we'd have to like reverse him in, so. He's in here and he was really good. He didn't even hesitate. He didn't even blink, did he? He went straight in. It's a little bit um, more spacious in there. Yeah, it's because Cooper is um, tiny, so I can put the, um, that white thing on mm. um, the last one. And our popcorn has literally got his own stable. But uh, if you weren't eventing, you're probably not going to go to eventing. But you could take that out, and this, because yeah. Pop Cooper's quite small, you push some shavings down, and it's a full class stable. Yeah, you can take, actually take that out. Huh? So lunch is done, that's all good. We're gonna, uh, we did like a little scavenger hunt, so that was cool. Um, our team came third, but, and there was only two of us, and we got eight points. So that was really cool. We got a sweet bag. Um, each team got a sweet bag, so that was 
very nice, got, got me some energy up. I'm gonna need it. <laughs> There's just loads of hay sitting there. Now we've got to tack back up because we're riding again in a minute. My next thing is pole work. So let's pop this on you. I forgot to detach the girth, so I need to. This might look like a mess at the moment, but. Right, now my girth is all detached. I can actually put my saddle on. Look. <laughs> Smiles. Does it come out? No. Oh my god, it is. Those fluffy ears, those fluffy ears. So my mum just tightened my hat up because it was a little bit loose um, on the chin. Come on. <laughs> so we've got pole work now, then we've got flat work after. So that's nice. And we're not going to do any like proper show jumping today um, because we. Um, Pool, um, my pony club are running a like show jumping competition, so that's nice. I'm not doing show jumping today because I've got it twice tomorrow. <laughs> he smiled again when I put his bridle on, of course. Didn't you? Yes. Right, let's mount you. Oh, wait, no, Daisy was going to sit on him for a bit. Is everyone ready? No. Do it at the end, do it when you come back with your Okay. We'll do a swap a rule. Okay. One, One two, two, three. Whoa, it is crazy that I ride this pony. I still can't believe that I ride him. Why? <laughs> oh, he's massive.
The next session is a flat work session. <laughs> you can't eat the grass that's under my chair. Um, but yeah, when, when, when we were rolling up the stirrups and gathering our reins and everything, um, at the end, Polkorn was literally closing his eyes and falling asleep. So, he's a pooped pony. Um, but yeah, next we've got flat work, no jumping for the rest of the day, so that's nice. Oh, Polkorn. I'm kissing you in the weirdest places. I just look your fluffy ears. <laughs> One thing that I've learnt from Pony Club is you dismount in the arena and roll your stirrups up and loosen the girth in there. Then what you have to do is flip the reins over their head and then walk out with your pony on foot. That was really good. Popcorn is well and truly tired out, literally. He was closing his eyes, literally absolutely falling asleep when I was doing up his stirrups and didn't really want to move when I tried to lead him. But now he's just munching on some grass. But yeah, I need some sugar. So I'm eating a couple of sweets that I won from the scavenger hunt. <laughs> So now my instructor is just heading over to me now because she's going to watch me unpack and everything. So that's good. Popcorn's had a drink. Yeah, that's, that's all right. So as long as you can get it undone, what I would do is I would take that first bit through and exactly the same, but I would just twist that and then do that so it's a bit more secure so you don't need to do so many do you see what i mean yeah and then literally just have a go so just twist that one that's it pull that free pull this at the same time like that yeah okay so now he's secure and then let's see you taking the saddle off so this side <coughs> Everything's done from this side, Harlow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then stay this side. So you can just stay this side. Lift the lift the saddle up. No, I take it off from the other side as well. Okay. For but for your for your um it, for your pony club test, just <laughs> undo it, lift it up, and you can grab the girth as you bring as you bring it off. Good girl. Well done. <laughs> Fab. And never go behind them in your exam. <laughs> there you go. So if there's any dirty bits, that's it. Especially on the bits that go in his mouth. Yep. Okay. Is it okay that it goes gold? Yeah, I think that just is kind of stained, isn't it? <laughs> Popcorn is so far away from the lead rope. So that is it for today. We've done all of our rides, all of our sessions, and Popcorn is so tired. <laughs> his nose and his bottom lip have gone all floppy, and his mane's just got doing what it wants. And I've already mentioned, but his legs, are f they're literally brown. And these are the worst I've ever seen his leg. I tried to get it off with the dandy brush, but no, that didn't work. <laughs> Just look at those socks. They're supposed to be white, but they're brown. He's having a bath when he gets home. 
<laughs> so what I am supposed to be doing now is get all of my stuff together, but I'm scraping popcorn down because he's got loads of duck mud on him from the cross country and a lot of other things. <laughs> I think it's a sign of a good day when you're this dirty and this tired and you're a pony. <laughs> Isn't it? Yes! 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 Yes it is! Oh my god, you're pooped. <laughs> so I've got to get all of this stuff in the car, get him in the trailer and then get him into bed. That sounds a lot more complicated than it is, doesn't it? Yeah. Right, let's start. How are you feeling? Good. Quite tired, but good. was amazing day one of Pony club camp that's all done been there done it it's an amazing experience popcorn definitely loved himself but he definitely knocked himself out as well um but yeah i'm actually very glad we didn't do the cherry jumping today as well because otherwise popcorn would have been literally falling asleep anywhere and i don't want popcorn falling asleep anywhere that he can um just for obvious reasons because you know it might just you know be like can i sleep now and then just be like but obviously i absolutely feel the same i've never ridden four hours in one day that's an achievement i'm absolutely shattered sorry if i'm talking like really really like you know just slowly and like quite you know, mixing up my words. Good morning guys, it is my first, well my second day of Pony Club Camp and for my first, well like lesson, kind of activity thing, we've got stable management. So that's gonna be really fun. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I've got all my grooming stuff down there. So first of all, I've got stable management, then I've got show jumping, then I've got my show jumping competition, then it oh, got a lot going on today. So first of all, I need to get my pony club tie on. Then I need to groom this handsome boy. Then we're going to tack up and start the day. Right, I can't find my pony club tie, so I'm just gonna brush him. Mum, no one else has that pony club tie on. That is your rubber curry comb. So how would you use that? Circles. Yeah, good. So it's it's quite good for getting rid of the winter, the, the hair from the winter and dirt and things when your pony's losing their coat, isn't it? To try and get rid of and use it in circular motions and just the hair would normally just fall off. And they quite like that because it's quite a nice like massage for them. <laughs> I've got um one of those, but it's like a little bit more oval and it's like um that texture on one side then it's got like me um, metal balls on the other side oh yeah from okay massaging. cool yeah they'll like that um, so what's different about that brush compared to the body brush um it's a little bit more firm yeah um and not many dandy brushes have this but it's got like harder sticks in the middle yeah. of it um so it is really firm to really flick away all of that dust and you can get quite like a couple of these like some you can get quite short but they've got quite like firm bristles um and there's a lot of different varieties of them and it's just like for flicking the excess dirt away that you've um took off with your um plastic curry comb 
So when would you use that? What kind of time of year would you use that? Um, in the winter or the summer, well not the summer, in the winter and the autumn to um, just quickly flick their legs down. Okay, I, I wouldn't necessarily, I, again I'd use it more on the neck. The, for the legs and things, I mean we do all use it don't we, but I would always, if you asked the question I would stick with the, the body brush for like the sensitive areas. What about um, if you had a clipped horse? Would you use a dandy brush on a clipped horse? I don't know what that is. No. Okay, what, what do you know where they've had all the fur <clears throat> shaved? Oh yeah. So in the winter, when our horses get their winter coat, they get quite, some horses get quite fuff, fluffy, thick coats, don't they? Yeah. yeah. So if we are going to be riding them and doing quite a lot of work with them to make them sweat a lot, then it's a good idea to get your horse clipped. There's lots of different kinds mm. of types of clips. So basically, they sh shave, shave, basically, shave yeah. your hair off. Yeah. Um, the reasons for that, well, can you tell me the reasons for that, Isabel? What that we don't use? The why, why we would clip them? Um, because, well, they get quite hot. Yeah. And um, with all their fur, it's like uncomfortable for them. Yeah. And it's just like, can't really explain it but it, it won't be that nice because they would have like dry sweat just sticking to their fur yeah so it, and it could rub exactly it makes it easier for us it makes it easier for us to um to dry them and if they got really really sweaty with long hair and and dried the, it, a it takes longer to for them to dry but also mm -hmm. they could get chill if they get cold um, so yeah, the idea is to, to, I know it sounds an odd thing to do, but to clip, to clip them so that then we can just pop a rug on to help, help keep them warm after. Does that make sense? And like you say, so they don't have lots of sweat and then end up getting rubs and things like that. It just, yeah. But it's very much dependent on how much work you're doing with your horse. You wouldn't want to just clip all the hair off. Mm -hmm. if you're not really riding very much no. but so but back to the dandy brush the dandy brush you wouldn't want to use on a clipped horse because they it, haven't got a lot of hair there basically and it'll like it would just or, be quite itchy and it quite hard it's just especially quite hard. with this yeah so on the face and places like that you wouldn't want to use your dandy brush no isabel what's the hoof pick used for um <laughs> to get any dirt and stones out of the hoofs because when you're riding it could make the horse unbalanced so why do we pick our horse's feet out? Um, to make, to get any stones out. Yep, to get some stones out. Um, like you say, they might be uncomfortable. What could the, what could stones in the foot cause your horse to become? Um, if they like went into their horse's frog, like obviously that's like with their hoof, they can't really feel it as much because it's solid. Um, but on their frog and their hoof. Um, it's a little bit more squidgy and if like a stone was to be pressed against that it would hurt. A bit more and sensitive. Yeah. Make yeah. them lame. Exactly, that's what I was looking for, yeah. So if your horse had a, a stone stuck in its foot, then it could make them lame. We're using the hoof pit to check our pony's feet, quite rightly so, and that they haven't got stones in. What else are we checking for on their feet um, when you're, you're going to pick the feet out? So what, loose, they, loose nails in their hoops, yeah, that's if what they've I was got going, shoes. So if they, exactly, good girl. If they've got shoes, then another reason to pick the feet out is because you're checking the shoes, aren't you? You're checking, A, that the shoes are still on, if, they've, if yeah. they're supposed to have shoes on. Um, and you're checking that the shoes are straight, because sometimes you go out in the field and the horse has twisted its shoe off or something. Or if the clenches are risen, do you know what I mean by the clenches? They like clip the... Shoe like the the nails. Um, oh yeah. yeah, they like come Your loose. Got shoes yeah. on. Should we have a look? <laughs> yeah. And point out to me any parts of the foot you know. Um, so we've got the sole. Yeah, good girl. Um, the horseshoe, the frog. Um, Which is the frog? This. Yeah, good girl. Hang on, let's have Isabel point out one part as well. Um, what else have we got? Where's the heel, Isabel? Here. Good girl. And um, where's the toe, Isabel? Yeah. Yeah, good girl, well done. So always be a little bit aware as well, um, Harlow, when you're, if you're 
um, grooming a pony you don't know you don't know where sometimes they might be just like you know we were saying yesterday that you're very used to your ponies being very yeah. good remember you don't know every pony so you might find you're brushing this pony and if you get a little bit because she's a mare as well if you get a little bit on their stomach sometimes they can be a bit sensitive no. Harley tell me what we would use a tail bandage for um, for travel. Why travel? Because um, it could get caught on something and just just not that nice. Um, if they sit back on the back of the trailer, what could they do? They rub could, it. Yeah, and they could knock it on the side. Yeah, so they could... But like they, when they're going around a corner, they could bang it. They could rub their tail, couldn't they? The, the reason we would have it in a grooming kit as well is because if you've made your pony look all tidy and you've checked them over and they're all clean and ready to go, if we put a tail bandage on, it can just, if you damp the tail a little bit before and then put the tail bandage on, it can just set the tail nice and tidy. So it's nice and tidy. So just before you go into your competition or whatever, you can pull the tail bandage off and it's all set nice and tidy. Sleek. <laughs> Popcorn's got like a showing tail, so we can't really do that with him. <laughs> One other thing we're gonna go through, I don't know if either of you know it, are the letters around the dressage arena. Do we oh, no. know? The letters that go around the outside of the dressage arena and maybe the the rhyme we could say to remember it. Oh yeah, I love I don't know, I don't know a rhyme, I just know it genuinely. Okay, so I, I, I never learned them. You never learned them? I never I, I never did. Yeah, I learnt it not last year, the year before at Pony Club. Did you? Okay. Yeah, I, I can't remember, remember it though. Is it elephant something? Okay, so we've got Is A it down King here. Something? C at the top. C at the top. Okay. H and K are along the diagonal. H and K, okay. Let's go through the rhyme, shall we? So we got, I'll tell it you it. Do you know it? No. Okay. So we got all, king. I knew it was something king. Edwards, horses, can manage big fences. All king, Edwards, horses, can manage big fences. Got it. Okay. Cool. So now it is my show jumping lesson with my instructor and everything is going really well. We're just learning the course because later on we've got a show jumping competition where everyone in Pony Club is going to be competing and I for sure do not want to stuff it up today. So what my instructor was trying to teach me today is to really use my corners and get really straight lines because when it's the show jumping competition she said it's not going to be a jump off, it's going to be judged on its style and performance and like your act going over the jump and I think me and Popcorn are a little bit more used to um, jump offs, at least Popcorn thinks every time we do jumping he thinks it's a jump off so he zooms around the arena i'm not gonna lie i do love when popcorn is just absolutely going for it around the arena he's just like so much fun to ride and i just love going full speed on him approaching the second part of the double I lose my balance because popcorn you know, adds in a stride and then I land on his neck and he kind of just like clenches up his back when he's going over it and I completely lose my balance and then as soon as I fall off I thought popcorn was going to go sniff me but no he went to go eat the grass that was right next to my head so I was hearing popcorn going munch 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 so in the end, I just, I could have probably stayed on if Popcorn went back to a complete stand. But no, Popcorn continued trotting whilst I was hanging around his neck. And in the end, I was just like, I'm just going to let go. You know what? It's just easier if I let go and then get back on.
my leg stuck. Right, there we go. So, I fell off. Um, it wasn't that much of a dramatic. Like, I probably could have stayed on, but I was clinging around his neck. Um, and then I started to slip, so I just, like, gave way and I like, gave up. <laughs> um, what happened? Just went over it funny, didn't he? Yeah, like, he did the first one fine, then he, like, took out a stride, and then, like, kind of went over it, like, kind of, like, his back, and, like, his bum kind of went pinged up, and I just completely lost my balance and my stirrups. So, yeah. Didn't hurt. And we were in... Or was he cantering? And I... He was cantering and I was around his neck. Mm, I should take up that talent. So I've got 20 minutes to eat my lunch, then we're going to play some party games, um, which will be nice. So after you've had my lunch, then it's going to be the show jumping competition. The one thing my mum told me on the way here was to not get my droppers dirty because they're cream. Yeah, that's um, unfortunate, mum. <laughs> Next, it's time for our show jumping competition. Wish us luck. Still got some way to go. It's beating down my soul. Never ending race I feel that fire burn With every twist and turn Feel the shake And when the sun goes down All the stars will shine I will stand wherever I am When the sun goes down, all the stars will shine. I will stand where I am. Popcorn went clear. I kept it really steady, um, so I had control, like in case um, I forgot where I was going. Um, it was only a um, jump, so it wasn't you know too intense kind of like there wasn't that many jumps but yeah we went clear i kept it nice and steady and let's see how we did it was actually um judged on like style and performance so let's see if we made it it wasn't about racing it round, getting it um round fast um Yeah. yeah! Right, I've got to go get an ice cream now and I'll see you when we're done. Good luck. I'll come back down to watch you. Well, that's it done. Right. Thank you. Enjoy. Don't drink too bad. Mmm. Nice and refreshing. I needed this. You want a loud this away? Oh gee. You know I loud it. No. He's pretty much lawn mowed this whole area. Um <laughs> you had a really good day? Mm. It was really nice. What's been the best day today or yesterday? Mm. Today probably. Um 
because of the slush. Because <laughs> of the slush? No, and also the show was really fun. And later on we're gonna, um, are we still gonna do the mounted games? I think so. Yay? I'm gonna go eat my slush with Daisy. And it is now time for the Pony Club Awards Ceremony. One, two, three. Ah, don't resist. Should we come back for them or we should just... Yeah. Uh. <laughs> okay. So we've just had the Pony Club Awards presentation and we're now because we've, we've mixed everything up and we're going to find out who's who's. So you, this is yours and you've got your badges in it. This is mine. Yeah. So Daisy got the trophy for. Don't know. Um, <laughs> no, it's on the bottom. It's on the bottom. Oh, no, it's on. Where were they looking? It was on. It's. My oh, thing is stuck. Okay. Okay, that's just. Can you remember what it was for? No. It was for most improved. Right. Was it net riding? Okay, Daisy got this for most improved rider, so I'm going to pop this down there and you can get that in a minute. So this um, was the special award and we both got one each, so... Two. <laughs> yeah, you got two. Uh, so this one, I think, this one's mine. So I'll pop that down there in my pile. So I got the most entertaining fall out my group. Nice to know it was entertaining, because I haven't seen it yet. I have seen it on pictures but not on a video, so that's going to be very exciting to watch back. This is Daisy's rosette, and I am in love with the colours. I love how they go together. She got that for her show jumping. She came sixth. Um, this was my rosette. I came first in show jumping, and it was judged on style and performance, so I tried to make my turns and lines as straight as possible, even though that's not what me and Popcorn really do. <laughs> we try to do speed, but yeah. So this one was yours. This one was most entertaining fool in your group, wasn't it? So that's a special award. Which one was this for? It was for, it was came with the trophy. Oh yeah, so that one came with the trophy. This one was my one for the clear round. And I, loads of people got different material for um, these ones and, um, Charlotte, my friend, she got um, polka dots and it looked really, really funny. So, yes. And this is because we went clear in our show jumping. So this is what we won from this week. We also got a couple badges. Yours are in your trophy and then mine are on Mummy's chair. So I think I got about five Pony Club badges and you just like stick those onto your top that she's wearing right now. <laughs> what an amazing week this has been. These are all our rosettes from um, Pony Club 2021. All right, let's go drop these off. I'm going to put mine on Mummy's chair. Thank you so much to my Pony Club for such an amazing Pony Club camp. I've had the most amazing and magical experience, my first ever Pony Club camp, and I am definitely going to go to another one because this one has just been absolutely amazing. And a special, special thanks to my instructor for Pony Club camp, Sarah Perry. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Also, in the next vlog, you'll be pleased to hear that it's an organising vlog. I was also very pleased myself.